all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're going to be talking about the app config so into this one whatever the variables we pass from the dot env file so we make some kind of configuration service file into the nest.js that anywhere we have to inject that configuration file and we can use the configurations environment variables so we can use it through the config file okay so there's a lot of titles over here so you can go through with all of these titles and you can see how it goes from the intermediate level to advanced level so we're going to be looking all the things so i'm going to be taking you on that advanced level like all the complete process like how we do that registration and all so i'm going to be taking you through with that and validation and also so we're going to be trying into that but this is a major thing if you are making a like really good big k-level application inside the nest.js so you should go through with this kind of scenarios okay so we're going to be doing that so first let's go with the installation process so we're going to be doing this control c and just uh, install into our application so i already have my terminal open over here I already installed it earlier but now i'm going to be doing the same again it was going to be overriding it okay no worries about that one so we have this app.module file over here and i also have created this env file so i'm going to be using this one so let me create some environment variable over here and then we're going to be injecting all those environment variables inside that um, app config service so let's suppose i want to do this uh, api env so it's going to be development okay so airport going to be eight thousand. okay and and uh, let's suppose uh, I just gonna put my database connection as well. So my SQL host, my SQL name or DB name, DB name is gonna be test it. My SQL host, okay. So it's gonna be my SQL local host, okay. My SQL port gonna be 3306 okay this is the local uh, mysql port all the time and my sql and um, my sql port host my sql what we need to check next yeah my sql username is gonna be my root and the my sql password password so password gonna be anything we will put it later okay so these are my environment variables now i have to register this all the environment variables in the app config file so what we're gonna do i'm just gonna be creating one config folder over here so let's see config folder inside the config folder i'm gonna be creating the app config so let's suppose you have multiple configuration like this is your app config this is your uh sorry make it app env not api env app env development so this is your app config app config environment variables okay and and this is your database uh, environment variable let's suppose same you're gonna be having the email service so you're gonna be having mail and environment variables and then you get a third party like google integration facebook integration and all like sso login so you can have all the kind of different different uh, environment variable over here okay so you can create the multiple kind of configs over here and you can include all the configs into the app module and it's gonna be start using it okay so let's create the app so i'm gonna be creating one more over here so just app i have so i'm creating database as well database okay so database so first let's go into the app so i'm going to be creating one config file app dot config dot ts inside that i'm going to be using the register add so export default register as so register no not this one register as okay so here i'm going to be giving my look uh, config so i'm just going to be keeping it app okay app comma and into this one just return one callback function inside the callback function you can return all the environment variables so let's suppose i want to return uh, app env like this so i'm just going to be doing process dot env dot app underscore env okay same i'm going to be doing uh, app port so app port was so sorry app port equals to process dot env dot same i'm going to be doing over here for app port like process.env dot app underscore port okay so these are the two environment variables which i have added over here now we have to create one config module okay app config module so i'm going to create one more file app config dot module dot ts okay so this is our module file so let's create app okay export class app config module so just uh, not like this and like this and then use the decorator over here add the rate module okay module inside that module just do like this imports 
config ports inside the imports you have to do config module config module dot for feature okay for root for root and then inside that you have to load load app config okay so the app config ts yes, this one you have to load over here so load it import app config app config from app config okay so just copy paste it over here app config so now this is we have installed it now we have to apply the validation schema as well so for that validation schema we have to uh, write all the like let's suppose i have app pnv over here so i will write uh, use some library to validate it like this is should be a string or something like that so i'm gonna be doing it now so let's let's use let's go into the documentation see so i covered this one so you see app config module dot for root you can use into your app module as import and it will include all your env files over there like this so process.env you can use and after that you can use like the env file part download development.env like this so it will kind of be included over there okay like this and then later on you can just include env service as well okay so this is the kind of thing which you have to include as well dot env file so if i show you Okay, so you can do like this as well and you can just leave this one as it is. So we're gonna be writing custom configuration file. So we are just jumping to using configuration service over here like this. So we have to do, okay, let's go, go down, go down. So this is the whole process we're gonna be doing. So, but before that, I'm, I'm just taking you to the register as, so we're gonna be doing this. So you see this one, this part, we have already done it. Now we need to do the validation. So for validation, we need to use one library, which called like Joy or Zod or any kind of library which you want to use, so you can use it. So we're gonna be doing validation. So let's go where the validation. So you see, we are using, they're using Joy. So let's use the Joy over here. So let's install the Joy. Okay, npm install save joy. So we install it. Now we have to do validation like this. So you see the joy dot object, and inside that you have to do validation. What is the environment variable you are using? So you have to do validation for that. Okay, so let's go over here. So we need to just do validation joy dot object joy dot object object. Okay, inside that you have to use app env. Okay, so for that you have to do joy dot string dot required okay if i don't include this one so it will start throwing me error okay same for app underscore port okay so just do joy dot string port string and then dot required so if you include required so it will gonna be throwing error okay so, so this is your config module dot for root which is included over here now you have to create app config service file where you can get all the config from your app config okay so go to over here so this is you are including your dot env environment variables over here into this file registering over here okay so register you have already done so including them over here so you can use it so let's create one app dot config service file app config dot service dot ts okay so now go over here create export class app config service okay and then you can just make it injectable add the rate injectable so let's suppose you inject it somewhere so it gonna be injected okay so now we have to create some functions so like this so get app env okay like this and then you have to return Okay, so you have to include the app config as well. So app config, so you have to get the config service as well. So just get the config service. So include constructor inside the constructor. Okay, so config service, so just private read only config service equals to config service okay so this is the config service here so now you have to do config service dot get okay so you have to app dot app env like this okay so app env is the keyword which you gotta be which you are using over here app env and uh, yeah so same kind of thing and app is the like num environment variable which is registered over here okay so it's gonna be registered and when you include in the app module so it's gonna be validated over here and it's gonna be loading your config module so it's gonna be added into your config uh, configuration files later later on when you use the config service it's automatically detect which config you are looking for over here okay so you always have to import this config service file and you have to get your environment variable okay make sure so now let's suppose get port okay so i hope if you return 
okay this dot config service dot get okay and then app dot app port okay so now i'm going to be telling you the difference but we're going to be including this app config module over here into the app module dot ts so let's create over here so app config module okay over here like this and easy peasy so joe is dot object cannot read undefined reading object cannot read properties of undefined okay so it says undefined because i have included it but i have to restart the service otherwise i'm going to be getting error my dot env file is not included okay so joey dot object validation is schema all right guys so this is fixed now so there was a problem with joey so I, when i was just importing it like before this started like if i remove this star as from here so it will throw the error to me so like normally default importing will throw error like it's not able to find the object inside of it so you have to import it like a star as so it will get all the modules and variables inside of it so that's how you could use it okay so this is working now this is fine so you have you can validate it like this and now in the app.module.ts you have to include it like this app config.modules uh, app config module like this and now let's go into the user module or auth module anywhere and then see how it works or not okay so we're gonna be importing this app config service over there and try to retrieve those uh, um retrieve those variables okay so these variables okay so let's go let's go to uh, modules and auth module so auth module service auth service over here let's see the controller if i'm using anything no i'm not using so let's go to the user service i think user service i've been using quite a lot before that so let's go over here so you see the five dollar option over here so i'm going to be commenting these things because i made already video on the kind of uh, um, queues and all so that's why i was using like this but that's not dated so we can comment this out like this okay change a dot users in three so let's uh inject the app config service over here so with the queues i'm gonna be injecting private read only private read only app config service equals to app config service okay so this is how and now I'll go over here in the find all cons where equals to this dot app config service dot dot config service app env equals to this dot get no this dot app env like this okay and you will get the app env to this so we can log it log app env comma app env okay now we have to hit this api call so find all api we are using in the controller let's so use a controller find all where's the find all okay so me so let's go into the postman so public workspace i just need to test project so this is what i was using earlier so this is the api i had okay so get me api and uh, okay url is not here so api we want users me okay so let's try this one try this on connection error <laughs> localhost 3000 but our port is running on localhost 8000 so go into the main.ts um 8000 okay so go over there in the postman and then put 8000 over here 500 internal server error app config service dot env is not a function okay it's not a function sorry my bad i just uh, used it like this so we don't have to include the function over here just it's a kind of get request so let's go over here get me and you see i got the development app env over here into my postman okay from for the postman i'm receiving all the air data so i'm running my postman into my vs code so you can download the extension from here like mysql postman and everything so you don't have to go anywhere out of the vs code every Everything you can run inside the VS Code okay so everything you can do over here so it's kind of benefit in though using VS Code everything you are getting in the extension and you can use it easily but otherwise you can have MySQL workbench like this as well and you can use it so easy easy so in the local it's fine like you can use it like this but if you are running on the production or something like that so make sure you use it MySQL workbench because the whoever is created this uh, extension maybe they can get your data okay because they can get they are reading your data okay so make sure be careful about that okay leave it um uh, this was the security perspective but over here you can see i'm receiving the data by this this is api and then i have this uh N -E -N -V coming over here right away okay so we have like uh, this uh, other database credentials over here as well so let's go and create another config over here so database config so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video bye, -bye.